This is Ground Affected. This guy could be your dad. And welcome to forgetting to drink your tea after you'd made it an hour ago. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I used a static grass applicator to create this textured static grass effect on the statue of Karamon that I'm painting for a customer of mine. Now I've never used a static grass applicator, nor have I used static grass for that matter. However, I'm gonna show you my own findings in this video and show you how I used it to create this effect so you can do it for yourself. Now before we get on with the video, make sure to go down into the comments and say something like, Grass is cool. Because your words is what's gonna help YouTube to realize that the video is worth being viewed by more people. Also, while you're down there, you might as well click like, and if you haven't already, click the subscribe button. Because for every new subscriber that I get, I will have one more new subscriber. So I suggested to this dude that I was gonna do a static grass application on the base. I ordered this stuff from War World Scenics, and this was a website that I found. It was a UK based company, so hopefully the shipping wouldn't have been too long. I ordered a load of glues, and I know that I can just use PVA and other glues for this as well, but I wanted to start out with what they recommend. This way, I knew I wasn't going to be having any issues any time down the line. Then this is the machine that they give you. It's essentially just a little box that has an electrical circuit that runs through it. And you basically create static electricity by putting the negative against or near the area. And because of the flow of electricity, it creates a static around these very light pieces of nylon grass. And this essentially makes them stand up on end and kind of look like they're standing up like grass hence the word static grass so the kit that i ordered came with the machine or the applicator it came with the two glues one is a standard basing glue and the other one is a layering glue and then it also came with a full four seasons of static grass so the static grass it comes with is a two four and a six mil and this came in the spring colors and the summer colors autumn and winter colors as well now I must admit handling these little packages, hopefully YouTube doesn't demonetize this video. This is not drugs, it is actually static grass YouTube, please don't demonetize me. Thank you for your great cooperation. Now let's start to do some experiments. So the first thing I'm going to do is obviously I'm going to start off small. And knowing that this is going to make a mess, I'm going to put down something to catch said mess. And so to start out with, I'm going to put a big box and a little piece of paper and I'm going to start to kind of experiment. So they say this glue is water based, which means you can clean up with water. So I decided to use one of my not so favorite brushes to paint it onto the base. A nice liberal coating I feel like is a good starting point. I then loaded up two millimeter grass into the applicator, placed that little negative crocodile clip near the piece essentially don't touch it but put it quite near it and you'll see it doesn't have to be too close to be honest but all you do is just shake and the sieve kind of sorts the little pieces from each other and it just falls out and stands onto it and stands up and this is the first layer that went down it's very very short this would be I mean probably pretty good for just a miniature if you wanted to do it on a little miniatures base or something but I want to layer this up and make it a lot taller and a little bit more bulkier so I'm going to test out some of this layering spray I'm not really sold on the layering spray I did do some tests and I felt like the layering spray didn't hold the grass as well and it almost felt a little bit weaker so I think for the final product I'm not going to do it that way I'm going to do it slightly different but basically the next steps were four millimeter grass over the top of the two mil and this was just to create a little bit of height in order to clean this up I was super happy that I decided to use a piece of paper because just scooping it all up afterwards made it so much easier now for an additional layer which is going to create a little bit more height on this piece of small test and what i'm going to do is i'm going to place the glue very sort of on one spot i'm not going to put it anywhere else i want to kind of try to create just a clump in a small area and i'm going to use the six mil static grass and i'm going to liberally shake that all over the top and pretty much tap it all off and that's pretty much that so now to take on the actual project i'm going to be doing this on this base i don't know whether i needed to paint it first or not Technically, I don't actually think I needed to, perhaps maybe just brown for representing sand, but I don't really think you need to actually paint it. 
you could just do a primer layer of black or whatever and as long as you cover it well enough with the two millimeter you won't even notice it at all so to start off with i wanted to create more clumps in this i didn't want it to be as flat so what i did was i placed a couple of little beads of glue and i stuck the two mil to those beads at first then what I did was I went back in and I kind of smudged the glue all around that so that it pushed those little pieces a bit and created a bit more texture than just flat over the top with one solid layer. I used this in sections as well. I felt like the glue may dry a little bit quickly and perhaps wouldn't hold the static grass. So I'm not really sure how big of an area that you could technically do. I guess that's gonna come with a little bit more experimenting and different glues. Different glues are gonna make different drying times obviously so like i said i did this in segments i did for the front section i just did half and half i felt like this was going to be the safest way of doing it and to be fair it did kind of work out all right i made sure to get it in between the little stones on the base as well i wanted to make sure that it looked as natural as possible grass would definitely grow in between those so i needed to make sure it was there now for the next layer i'm not going to add the layering spray I'm gonna actually just do a couple of splodges. I found this glue dries a little bit harder and a little bit more permanent than the layering spray. So a couple of splodges here and there, which will just create a little bit of texture within the texture itself. Essentially a little bit more height in a couple of areas, but also it will create a little bit more color difference as well. As you can see, there is like tufts of grass or essentially different grasses. Grass never grows, it's just one perfect shade of grass because it's not a golf course and in nature, it's not a golf course either. So you're gonna have different species of grass grown amongst each other. I then went back in with a couple of layers, a little bit of drops here and there, and this was gonna be to add the six mil. And that's where I called it done. Oh, by the way, make sure to vacuum and clean your workspace very well after this because you will definitely regret it if you catch a little piece in your next painting project. Hopefully this video helped you to understand how you can create this kind of texture or static grass on your own models in the future. And if there are any questions or any comments you have about anything that happened in this video, make sure to leave them in this place down below that YouTube allows you to leave these kind of things. I'd like to say a super special thank you to my Patreons because without them, I couldn't use these lights to blind the corneas of my eyeballs. Also, if you have no idea what the Patreon is about, that is how you can support me further than watching the video. And if you've already shared it with your gran and you still want to support further, make sure to look into the Patreon. If you join the Patreon, you will get access to our private Discord. And in the private Discord, you will then have access to the best group of printers and painters that ever did exist. So if you are struggling with 3D printing or even painting for that matter, then perhaps consider subscribing to the Patreon. And that way you will have access to a massive group of people who can help you if you ever have any issues or just need some questions answered or even just a pat on the old back. Now that we've come to the end of the video, there is only one thing I have left to say, and I say this in every video. The most important thing is it's your choice. If you did not like anything you saw in the video, the easiest thing I can say to you, my dude, is to just click the dislike button. It looks something like this, and all you do after that is f off. Because the internet is your experience, and if you don't enjoy your experience, that is your own fault. Just click dislike, and do what the man says, bruh.